on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone. So give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, well, what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of of. of military establishment, particularly the Area 51, uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now aren't. But they're not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not, they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. Discharge. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I still get a So, we are back in the cemetery. I did not think I was going to come back here to film another vlog episode, seeing as we've been here on multiple occasions, but it's an awesome place and I think it's going to help me explain today's topic a little bit better. Now back in 2012, I reached the same point that I'm at now. I actually stopped researching the paranormal and stopped looking into these topics because I went so deep down the rabbit hole that I got to this point where the rabbit hole turned into this giant cavern, this giant cave of possibilities. And like I've said before in other videos, I am not a spiritual person. So I'm always looking for a concrete explanation to these topics. But what I'm noticing as I research and I make these videos is that there is a metaphysical, sort of like a spiritual aspect tied into all of this. Something that is behind the veil that we can't see. So now I think you guys can probably understand why this topic has been hard for me to sort of think of a way to break it down because the last time I reached this point, I quit. I stopped looking into this stuff. Now I can say that I can't remember when I wasn't looking into this, but I got frustrated. I couldn't believe that, you know, you look deep enough and it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier to the point where there doesn't seem to be any physical explanation for it, any concrete explanation. And that's what I'm trying to find here. Is it really that important to find a concrete explanation? I don't know, you see? <laughs> So, one thing I couldn't get off of my mind, I had it in the back of my mind this whole time, was the Sherman's claims that they saw craft entering our realm through portals and then exiting our reality or realm, whatever you want to call it, through portals. So, 
this is going to get a bit out there, so just bear with me, guys. So that concept, that experience that the Shermans had, it really spawned something in me. Check it out. So we're talking about UFOs and aliens in the cemetery, and look what I found. A sticker of a UFO. Coincidence? I think not, my friends. What I am trying to talk about in this video is the interdimensional hypothesis. Now Jack Vallée, a French scientist, actually came up with this idea and that is that UFOs and interactions with ETs and aliens and all this kind of stuff is actually interdimensional. Like we're actually coming into contact with extra dimensional or interdimensional, however you, you want to say it, beings. The idea and the concept is out there. UFOs and aliens are actually extra dimensional, interdimensional and they're not from a physical place or maybe they are from a physical place but it's a realm that we can't see realities that coexist alongside our own now all of us know the extraterrestrial hypothesis that aliens are from another planet and they travel light years just to come to earth and experiment on us because we are fascinating creatures now <laughs> I mean, every time I think about it, it gets harder and harder to actually accept. Which is why the interdimensional hypothesis is kind of sounding like it makes sense to me. So why am I leaning towards the interdimensional hypothesis? We all know that there are paranormal hotspots. And in these hotspots, people see UFOs, they see ghosts, they just have paranormal experiences. And it's not just UFOs. It seems like wherever there's a UFO there's all different types of paranormal stuff going on let's not forget the similarities between fairy folk and those legends of the past how they sound like you know today's alien abductions now some of the most intelligent human minds have discussed this and thought about this topic the multiverse concept now I am no physicist so I am not you know the person to be discussing you know, in depth, the multiverse concept and ideas. But string theory ties into it. And, you know, Einstein talked about wormholes. Stephen Hawking, actually, his last work was on, you know, studying black holes and the concept of the Big Bang creating multiple universes. So you may be saying, okay, cool, this is what we're talking about. Why are you in a cemetery? Well, because I feel like the concept of the afterlife can actually help explain this interdimensional idea. Most people believe in the afterlife. A lot of you watching this probably believe that when you die, your spirit, your energy, whatever, goes to some place. Even if it's out in the universe, it goes somewhere. Now, heaven or the afterlife, whatever you want to call it, would be a good way to explain you know, a parallel dimension. It's something that's there, but we can't see it. And ghosts and those kinds of entities are between our reality and another. Now, what is that other reality? I don't know. You know, you'd think it would be really easy to explain this topic, but it's kind of hard. A good, another good, you know, comparison to make would be all my Stranger Things fans out there, the Upside Down. Now, the Demi Gorgon and the Upside Down, that's a perfect example. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So... Let me know what you think down in the comments. Are aliens extra dimensional beings or are they from the moon? Are they from Mars? You know, what, what do you think? What do you believe? Make sure to tell me what you think down there and don't be afraid. You are free to say whatever you believe and all concepts, theories, and hypotheses are allowed on this channel.